Okay, so it's Tuesday and I was actually doing this question with a client last week. And, you know, my thing is that I want you to be a great nurse, not just pass your exam, but to be a great nurse. Because here's the thing, when you get in the hospital or whatever facility you work in, you're not gonna have selections A, B, C, and D and choose the right answer. You're gonna have to critically think what's going on with this client, what is the doctor wanting or anticipating, anticipating the order, and what do I need to do as a nurse to make sure this client stays in the best health possible. So looking at this question, the nurse is admitting a client with hypoglycemia. Identify the signs and symptoms the nurse should expect. Select all that apply. So we are given a question regarding hypoglycemia. And basically this question wants to know, do you know the difference? Not just do you know hypoglycemia, but do you know the difference between hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia? Because more than likely in your contrast compare, anything that you can contrast or compare, there's gonna be opposite statements in here. And typically it's the other one. So if I'm seeing a hypoglycemic question, more than likely hyperglycemic symptoms are in here. So hypoglycemia and select all that apply. I wanna mark those on my whiteboard to make sure I pick those answers. And the biggest thing I tell people, because it's, it's one of the things that I actually try to go over initially when I meet my clients very early on. Uh, one of my clients in particular, she had this question. She said she couldn't tell the difference or had struggled with hypo and hyperglycemia. And I told her what I'm about to tell you. And this girl told me, this lady, that her very first question was on hypo, hypo hyperglycemia. And it was a select all that apply. And ever since then, many clients have told me they had similar questions on their NCLEX exam because diabetes affects millions. And I have over 20 plus years in diabetes education um, experience. All right, so here we go. Hypoglycemia, what you want to remember is that it turns on the flight or fight response. When somebody is hypo, that means they have low of something versus hyper, they have too much. Too much of what? Glyce is sugar and mia or ia is blood, right? So mia is blood. So here we go. So hypoglycemia, what I want you to think about is that if a bear walked into a room, how would you respond? It turns on the flight or fight response. So symptoms include what? You got it. Hypertent uh, uh, tachycardia, uh, anxiety, um, nervousness, shakiness. You, of course, they're going to be hungry because uh, the brain loves sugar and they need sugar and the body needs sugar to uh, send to the cells so they can burn for energy. Um, they can have seizures, they can go into coma and they can die. Um, headache also too is one of the symptoms too as well. So again, flight or fight response. Hyperglycemia, too much sugar. You think about the three Ps, polydipsia, polyphagia, polyuria, right? And then when you start getting into diabetic ketoacidosis, what else can happen is that they end up being in metabolic acidosis. So what is the body gonna do? Respiratory, we're gonna try to compensate by blowing off the extra acid, right? Kuzma breathing, and then they can have abdominal pain and ketonic or acetone breath, sweet breath, right? Because they have a buildup of ketones. And as you know, in hyperglycemia, there's so much sugar, but there's usually not enough, especially for type 1 diabetes, not enough insulin to get that sugar into the cells. So the body starts breaking down fat and protein. Byproduct of fat is ketones. That's where you get the diabetic keto and an acidosis. All right, so if we look at this question, thirst, very thirsty, is gonna be your hyperglycemia, right? Because they're, they're drinking a lot because they're peeing a lot. Polyuria, they're peeing, they're drinking that polydipsia. Palpitations is more of your hypo because again, flight or fight. Diaphoresis, one I forgot to remember, is gonna be your flight or fight, that neurological response. Slurred speech because they're not getting enough sugar can't think correctly, confusion, that's hypo. And hyperventilation is when they blow off the excess sugar, so that's hyper. So my answers are gonna be B, C, and D, and we're gonna flip this page here. And as you can see, B, C, and D are the answers. And I love these rationales. I get this, uh, this question is from nurselabs.com. Very good website with great rationales, tell you why something's incorrect, something's um, as well as correct. 
and it also has a lot of content on there. So here's my question for today. Remember, it's not about just passing your exam, but make sure you understand the content, especially that this very prevalent asthma, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure. Understand those ACEs and those ARBs, beta blockers. Understand insulin and how it works. I'll talk to you guys soon. As always, make this lifetime great. And I'll be talking to you soon. Oh, also too, I'm running a sale this week, you guys. I forgot to mention, but you can catch my notes here um, on Etsy. And the link is in my profile. And I'm also offering... 25% uh, off on my tutoring too as well per hour. You got this. Let's make this the last time and go out and do the work that you're here to do. Talk to you guys soon.